My earliest memory of basketball would have to be when I was about two years old, and my dad had bought a, one of those little Fisher Price hoops for me. Every morning, I would just go out there and try and, you know, do all the dunks. Like I used to watch like Vince Carter used to be my favorite player, and uh, I used to love Allen Iverson and Tracy McGrady. My recruiting process was a little different because most of my high school years were in Germany. Um, but my high school coach, he, he did a great job of you know, reaching out to coaches. And uh, Coach Matheny was really one of those coaches who always kept contact with me and then came to a lot of games. So eventually, uh, he offered me a scholarship. When we were recruiting Sheldon, uh, we went and then watched him play in Apex, not far from here, several times. Um, and, and what we saw in person, we verified on a lot of film. He's got a great shooting stroke. He really shoots the ball well. Uh, he does a lot of things though. He's got great length. He handles the ball for a big wing very, very well. Um, but it, we kept going back to the fact that he can really shoot the ball. What attracted me to Elon was really like the, the family environment around the program, but not just the program, um, but also the community. I mean, the support out here is great. Uh, Sheldon uh, has really overcome uh, a lot of adversity in his time here. Uh, he's gotten injured uh, the first couple years, and this year's been no different. Um, he, he came in the fall, was playing tremendous, and um, you know, he went through a, a situation where his mother fell ill, and he had to get on a plane to go to Germany. But uh, Sheldon, yet again, has overcoming adversity, and uh, he's really playing well throughout his senior year. I'll probably miss the most just being with my teammates and coaches. Um, I mean, it's such a close group. It's almost like a, like a family away from your, your own family. Sheldon uh, is just uh, amazing to me. He came to us um, kind of like a praying mantis. Uh, he was all over the place uh, with his thin, skinny body, and he's transformed into a very solid, strong Division I stud. But um, the way he's uh, just matured and, and the way he presents himself, uh, he, he's grown into a man. Right now my plan is to hopefully play professionally. Um, if it's in America or back overseas in, in Germany, um, I don't know yet, but uh, I mean that's my dream and, and that's my goal. I would just say thank you uh, to all the supporters um, throughout the years and, and go Phoenix.